Hey, how's it going, everyone? I want to go over a stock that we did mention a couple weeks ago. I did want to give you guys an update video on them as they have been having a huge sell-off and a lot of people are curious if it's a buy or a sell. And I also wanted to go over chart updates today with you guys. As I know, Sunday, we're looking for a lot of good plays, a lot of good chart reads. And I wanted to give you guys a few. And again, we are going to be posting a lot more today. I'm going to post probably like four or five more at least. And then tonight, we will give you guys a Sunday night countdown as usual. Again, I do like posting my watch list on Sundays. So again, be on the lookout for that later today as well. So again, much love to everybody. But before we do get started, quick just Disclaimer, anything we do mention is purely for entertainment purposes. If you guys would like financial advice, I recommend you contact a financial professional. However, we have been going play by play day by day throughout the whole year. So if you guys want to see more entries and breakouts, all you have to do is subscribe, hit the bell notification, and you will be notified at a timely matter. And again, much love to everyone that does subscribe. We do go all out Monday through Friday on entries and breakouts. So again, be on the lookout for more of those. Now we are going to go into our next favorite play. Again, I do like Workhorse because it did sell off previously um, about a couple of days ago, I think it was Wednesday, it sold off because of the news on OSK. OSK ended up getting the contract with USPS and Workhorse was very bullish at this point because they, a lot of people thought they were going to get the contract because they're a full on electric vehicle company, but um, OSK ended up getting the contract. But however, we did have a bounce at our previous breakout. Um, we did bounce right here at 1244. And again, it did bounce here because we did previously break out here. This is very strong support and on Wednesday, um, I wanted to mention this one also in particular because ARK Invest invested about 660,000 shares in Workhorse on Wednesday. So that's another thing to very uh, much consider, especially at these prices. In my opinion, this is an easy hold. Workhorse is very bullish. And you could see what Fisker has been doing. And in my opinion, I think Workhorse is way better of a company than Fisker. And you could see where its price is at for Fisker. I think Workhorse is an easy hold. Um, I'm buying into it on Monday. And I already bought some on Friday, but I'm going to be buying more if it does dip on Monday. But Again, workhorse, I love the dip here. Um, we do have a breakout point right here on the yellow dotted line, as you can see at 1916. So if you wanted to play it safe and you want to play on the breakout for bullish momentum, you could. But however, I bought in early. I'm okay with averaging down on this one because I know workhorse, in my opinion, is going to be bullish. And I think it'll come back to where it was previously once it get, and gets any news with any contracts again. Um, again, USPS is still in the game because we do have a possible um, turnaround where the Democrats possibly could stop OSK from getting that contract with USPS and Workhorse could possibly have a run up. So again, that's another uh, possible bullish move for Workhorse. So again, Workhorse is definitely on the watch. I'm buying into it. I love it. I'm holding it. And again, um, we will be going over more plays today on entries and breakouts. And we do this Monday through Friday every single week. So again, be on the lookout for more of those. And again, much love to everybody that does subscribe and everybody that has been in the comment section. You guys have been showing me so much love. And if you guys do have a watch list, throw it in the comment section. Anything on your mind, throw it in the comment section. And again, God bless you all. And I'll see you guys in the next video.